secret. Oh. Oh, I was just about to ring the doorbell. Uh, we were about to leave. <laughs> yeah. Well, fine. Now, don't let me hold you up. I... Okay. Okay, come on, Trip. Goodbye. I'll see you in a bit. Goodbye. Bye. Thanks. So long. They're off to Forest Hills to pick up Heather from her home. Oh, well, I could uh, be a bit awkward over the Christmas season, I guess. Something I can do for you? Yes, uh, I know I should have called, Leslie, I, but I didn't. I wanted to talk to you. There's something important. And what would it be? Well, it seems the Quartermains managed to get themselves into another family crisis, and I've been elected to try to solve it for them. I guess you better come in. Thank you. Amy, don't you think maybe you should finish your homework upstairs? Upstairs? Yeah, studying's always much easier upstairs. Monica, it's really nice seeing you again. Nice to see you, Amy. Well, now, tell me, how could a crisis in the Quartermain household possibly affect me? You always get right to the point, don't you, Leslie? don't see any sense in doing anything else. Right? Well, the Quartermains are giving a Christmas party. And we're using the occasion to... Well, to welcome Alan's cousin, Alexandria, to poor Charles. I read about it in the paper. Well, your name uh, was on the guest list, and I... Well, I told Alan that I would hand deliver the invitation to you. He is hoping you'll accept. And you're not. I didn't say that. No, you didn't. Well, don't let it concern you, Monica. I don't think I'll be there. I think it would be much too uncomfortable for me. Now, if Alan thought that I was uh, delivering this invitation in anything less than Christmas spirit... Oh, but he doesn't have to know that, does he? You can just tell him that with Heather coming to stay here and... New help in the house. I'm needed here. I'm sure he'll understand that. He won't be offended. Okay. Since you've said that, uh, I have to tell you I'm relieved. I just wanted Ellen to know that I delivered the invitation. Thank you so much. Was there anything else? No. Nope. I'll see you to the door. Oh, yes, there is. Yes. I think you should know that Rick won't be there either. Monica, what Rick does is really none of my business. Just thought you should know. Excuse me. Hi. Hi. Monica, what are you doing here? Uh, well, Leslie will explain it to you. I am late for work. I'll see you later. The man was obviously a professional after my art treasures. So therefore, Alex, I want everything out of that basement. I agree, Alexandria. I really, Alex, I want the basement cleaned out immediately. Yes, my dear, there's a very wealthy little grandchild living in this house. And I don't want anyone attracted to this house that has a criminal mentality, Alex. All right. All right. I know you're thinking of a possible kidnapping. I know that. Alexandria, please don't even mention that word. No, don't. Just have the basement cleaned out as soon as possible. I mean, like tomorrow, Alex. All right. Now, everybody's upset. Why don't you go to bed? I'm going to have a nightcap with Alex, and then I'll, um, I'll make the security rounds. I've already done that. Yes, well, I am ready for bed. I can Good possibly night. sleep. Good night, dear. Good night, Alexandria. Good night. See you tomorrow. Night. All right, Alex, now why all this clinging to Luke? Well, believe it or not, Edward, I was scared to death. That Cassidyne butler threatened me down there in that basement. Well, they're obviously convinced that you have the ice princess. Why didn't you take Luke with you to the basement? Well, how could I? Alex, you could have been killed. Hurt, perhaps, but not killed. They won't kill me as long as they think I have the ice princess. And I didn't dare take Luke down there to that basement. He might have found out the truth that he's not actually searching for the boundary papers for the Ice Prince's diamond mines. Well, I grant you that. 
That was good thinking, Alex. Well, I've got to get him back and on the trail of the Cassidides. Morning, Alex. Oh, hello, Alan. Monica. Who was uh, on the phone early? Oh, just one of my staff. Well, I have to tell you, I didn't sleep at all last night. I was thinking about the fact that a supposed butler had access to this whole house. Monica's right, Alex. You know, that interest in your art treasures could turn into a much bolder plan. I tell you, I couldn't sleep either. What for worrying about Alan Jr.? I meant what I said, Alex, last night. I want all of that junk in the basement out of here immediately. Well, Monica, I assure you that all my priceless junk will be out as soon as possible. I mean, we really could have had a kidnapping on our hands. But there wasn't. And you could have been hurt down in that basement. What if the man had had a gun? I tell you, I'm going to raise absolute hell with that employment agency. I'm going to call them right now. It's ridiculous. Uh, it's a recording. I forgot everything's closed. It's Christmas Eve. That's nice, isn't it? It's just wonderful. I wish I could just stand here and listen. I can't get to work. Well, you don't have any messages. Thank you. See you. Thank you for the hot chocolate. You're most welcome. <coughs> oh, Ray? Yes, Monica. Uh, I need to talk to you about Hutch. What's wrong? Well, it's, it's nothing uh, medically wrong. It's just I, uh, well, I, I need your advice. Could we uh, get together? Sure, I'll, I'll be in the cardiac room. You can't go to the cafeteria because it's still not open. Uh, look, I'll, I'll check with you later, okay? Fine. I think that a children's party is going to be very good for Hutch. Well, as far as I'm concerned, I would tend to agree. I think it would be good therapy for him to entertain the kids. I don't see any safety factor involved. I mean, he has a guard right next to him every moment. I don't think he would even consider trying to make a break. He's resigned to his fate. I've seen a change in him lately. How so? Well, I mean, he still puts on a front, but it seems to be something that's, um, different about him. I know we've, both you and I have had reservations about him, but good heavens, he must have some shred of decency about him, or, well, Laura and Luke wouldn't feel the way they do. As I know, they saw him today. Well, I'm going to get back to the hospital. I will check with Steve, but I think if it is okay. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, I mean, where are you going to be Christmas morning? Leslie invited me over. Oh. Well, does that mean that there is a reconciliation Monica, in the work? please, I don't think that's does anything that... We happen to share a daughter. And you won't let me forget that we don't share a son. Hello. 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 Rick. Hi. Hi, Joe. Discussing your patients. Yes, uh, Monica was asking me whether I felt Touch should uh, entertain the kids, and she wanted me to, uh, yeah, Steve, if I and get his permission. Yeah, apparently he sings and then plays guitar. Well, you'll excuse me, mm -hmm. please. You can see each other. Yeah, right. I hope you don't have to leave as well, Monica. I want you to be in on this. Well, I, I can't stay long. Uh, what, in on what? Uh, hang on for a second. Uh, look, we'll, we'll order a little later, all right? To send up a flare. Okay. What? I was talking to Joe about hiring a security guard to patrol the house at night. I don't really buy that story about the English butler being interested in Alex's art treasures. Uh, he's also asked me to put out some feelers uh, about the man. I didn't get a look at him that night, so maybe you two could describe him to me. <laughs> 